I'm tired. Hello everybody, welcome to another Nerdiversal video. In this one, I'm attempting the Draw 10 a Day Challenge. And let me just start with this. I regret all of my life choices. So basically what the Draw 10 a Day Challenge is, it's... Okay, first off, it was a challenge started by Holly Brown. I'll have her YouTube link in the description. Um, and, or, or she goes by HC Brown or whatever. Point is, uh, it's a thing where you have to draw 10 things a day based off the prompts she gives you for 10 days straight. What does that mean? You'll have 100 drawings by the end of, what is it, like a week and a half? I'm on day two. So, without further ado, we're about to witness my progression to insanity. Have fun! <laughs> Alright guys, oh my god, this is the fourth time I've tried recording this stupid audio. First time, um, the program, okay, the program would not record my voice, and I don't know for the life of me why. That's complete sarcasm. This recording thing is the biggest butthole to me in the world. Second time, uh, apparently it was plugged into the wrong plug hole. Third time, the video wouldn't play. Fourth time, let's hope this is the charm. Anyways, today is day one of this, uh, 10 a day, draw 10 a day drawing challenge. And today's prompt was nature, foliage, uh, vegetable plants, fruit plants, all that good stuff. Um... And the, uh, as I said before, the challenge was created by Holly Brown, um, and when she said that it was a drawing challenge, she absolutely was not kidding. I don't draw a lot or quickly, and that's, uh, what this, that's what this challenge centers around, and I mean, um, towards the middle of it, like right here is probably where I realized I should probably start drawing faster, because the cactus thing I'm pretty sure I spent like 47 minutes on. Um, and so I realized if I wasn't going to do it quick enough, then I probably wasn't going to get it done as soon as I would like to. And I think I spent like seven hours on this, um, not because I was drawing for seven hours, but because I kept procrastinating in between. Like, I would take breaks, but I would take very long breaks. I would go to take a shower, I'd go, like, eat and, like, talk to people and stuff, because uh, I, um, had no work eth ethic on the first day. And everything was completely new to me, and so I didn't really draw a lot. And it was the worst thing ever. After I was done drawing this, I was super tired, my back hurt, my wrist hurt. Which is, okay, I shouldn't be complaining because I'm not even a professional artist, and I know professional artists do that a lot. They draw all the time, every day, uh, sometimes non-stop or continually. And I just have no experience with that. So I complain not because it's hard and nobody should do it, I complain because I've literally never done this before and I, I think it was good for me to do this because I don't usually draw like this, I don't usually get out of my element, usually I draw lots of people and I don't really draw lots of things, which is dumb because I really should draw lots of things. I tried drawing a dog once, and that actually didn't. Came, that actually came out pretty decent. The dog that I had, I don't know if I ever put that up, but like Nutter and Butter, I'm not gonna put a picture of him because I'm so tired. It's 1:54 in the morning. Who cares about editing? Am I right? Oh, no, I'll do it next time, maybe. Um, but I mean, I did really enjoy. I well, okay. I can't say that I enjoyed doing this because I really did not enjoy doing this. I, I actually hated doing this. But I think I enjoy the fact that I'm actually putting work and effort into something that pertains to art because I feel like I'm actually starting to get more into drawing. And I think it's good for me to do this especially because I want to start getting into comic making like you guys saw in my last video that I started doing my, um, my first comic page. And so if I'm going to get into actual comic drawing that I need to set deadlines for myself, I need to be able to draw quickly, and I need to be able to draw a lot, uh, so that I can get a lot done in a day, 
and so this challenge is hopefully gonna help me with that hopefully i can carry it through through all of the days because that would be nice i would feel like much less of a failure if i did that um some of these drawings aren't recorded like uh, you won't see me draw all 10 in either day because my my phone decides to stop recording after like 45 minutes and so it um I, I'll be drawing and the camera will not be recording and I won't realize, but you will see, you'll see all of the drawings at the end video where I record everything that I've drawn, um, that'll, that'll have everything in there, that'll have all 10 drawings with the plants and then eventually the day two cars, um, so that's, that's good because this phone was being very mean to me, it was not recording because it was either on low battery or it stopped recording because it had a limit. And I probably should have done it with the other phone. Both of these are old, used phones. Um, but one of them is even older, which is weird that the older one records a longer time than the newer one. You would think the newer one was the other way around. But, um, anyways, I drew it, so it's pretty nice. It's pretty, pretty radical. Alright, so day two is cars, or more specifically, uh, favorite cars. And for the car that I chose to mainly draw was the um, 1985 Corvette. And this is mostly because um, when I was a kid, it was one of the cars that I was mostly involved with as a child. Like, I think there's even pictures of me sitting on my grandpa's old um, 85 Corvette. Because he, he bought it and my dad was allowed to drive it. And so he did because he did enjoy driving. Um, and then there were there were other few cars that like I really remember from my childhood like my mom's Honda I Forget what it actually what kind of Honda it actually was But I know I loved that thing like my mom told me that when she had to like replace it That I was sad though. I don't remember that so I don't know how true that is But that that car was with us for a while and then there was my grandpa's um, El Camino uh, That car had some memories in it um, I think one, my aunt one time accidentally ran over my other aunt's, uh, foot. Oh, actually, I think, <laughs> I think we might have both done that. Um, we were in the car, or I think, well, just me, I was in the car, and I, uh, I think I took it out of park, and my aunt <laughs> was right behind the El Camino, and it like rolled over under her foot and i probably shouldn't be laughing about that but she is okay now she has no foot problems no feet were harmed in the making of that story actually no they were totally harmed but um she's okay now and we laugh about it even to this day she laughs about it which is the good part that's why i can tell this story but the el camino yeah the el camino definitely had a lot of memories and honestly i don't know why i didn't draw that i stuck with corvettes mainly but i i, I don't think these are all Corvettes. Um, well, I think one of them is a Mustang. I kind of just haphazardly uh, downloaded a bunch of car reference photos, but I did look up specifically Corvette 85, but if Google decided to give me any miscellaneous sort of pictures, then that's what I downloaded. Um, I can't tell cars apart. I'm not a car enthusiast. All car enthusiasts watching this video are probably very mad at me. Sorry, car enthusiasts. I don't know why you're watching a 16-year-old drawing video, but you know what? Do you. I'd actually prefer if more people watch my videos, so like, definitely do you. But hopefully, there aren't any angry car enthusiasts watching these videos because they would be able to tell all my deeply flawed drawings and how deeply flawed they really are because I for probably forgot a lot of details, I probably forgot to do things a certain way or drew something at the wrong angle, because that's just what I do. I've never drawn cars before. And I think I actually progressed towards the end of this video instead of declining, because I gave myself like five minute breaks in between every three drawings that I did. Um, so I progressed instead of declined like the last one. But I, I don't know, what do you guys think? Except for my last two drawings. The last two drawings were super rushed because I had to export this really fast. But, um, other than that, I think they slowly got better and I was slowly learning how to draw the actual cars. And of course, they're all reference photos, because I don't know how to draw any of these cars from my head, because I, I don't usually draw cars, my forte is usually humans. Um, but yeah, these are definitely cars. I drew shadows on some of them, I didn't draw it on all of them though. 
but uh, these actually do get a little bit more detailed as it go, of course, except for the last two drawings, which are total booty, but you'll see those in the, um, like, review thing, the review, um, like, flip through the booklet, because I, I did make all these booklets, because I don't actually have a hundred sheet sketchbook, so I had to make all of these out of, like, computer paper, I know, sorry to everybody who thinks it's cringy, because it really is uh, computer paper, but it's what I had, so I had to work with it. And these are the final drawings, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, these are still really crap, but I'm glad I was able to do this challenge because I think it's going to help me actually, like she said, have these in my visual library. And so it was a good time, guys. Oh, see right there? Right there. That's where I like lost it. I was like so tired and so hungry and everything. Um... But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!